Every one of us was designed and created by God for a specific purpose. If you want to discover why God created us and what our purpose is, then this video is for you. Hi, my name is Joseph and welcome to Unity with Heaven where I help you to connect with God's purpose for your life and fulfill your destiny. God created you as a spirit being with incredible power and creativity. You existed long before the world even existed and uh, the Lord wrote every day of your life down in a book. When you are who God actually created you to be, then you can be truly happy uh, and you can live a fulfilled life. And so therefore, uh, these things are a big deal. And that's why uh, we are talking about them. At the beginning of the book, Jeremiah, we read a fascinating verse. It says there, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I ordained you a prophet to the nations. And that's Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. How is it possible that God knew Jeremiah before he was born? If God had known Jeremiah before he was even formed in his mother's womb, then all of that knowing would have happened in the spirit realm. That is confirmed in God's description of creation. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 27, we read the following. Then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. All right? And so God created man in his own image and in the image of God he created him. Male and female he created them. We tend to think that man started to exist the day they were born. Uh, but that's not really true. God created you as a spirit being long before you came into this earth. He knew you and that's also confirmed uh, by the scripture uh, in Jeremiah. In Psalm uh, 139 we read, Your eyes saw my substance being yet unformed, and in your book they all were written, the days fashioned for me, when as yet there were none of them. Uh, that's uh, Psalm 139 verse 16. God created you with a very specific design to be a spirit being. He did that before you came to earth and he knew you. What is more, he wrote a book about your life. In that book are details like when you will be born and what you will do. In the beginning when God created the man, he breathed his Holy Spirit into that man. That man became a being that could create. Uh, and in today's time, really the same thing happens to us. Yes, our physical body gets born as a little baby. But at some point we give our life to Jesus. And then we get saved. And then again, the Lord breathes his, his breath of life into us. We receive the Holy Spirit. And then we truly become alive to fulfill our call and destiny. In Genesis chapter 2 verse 7, we read the following. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostril the breath of life. And man became a living being. All right? Now it's interesting. It says there, uh, the Lord breathed into uh, his nostrils the breath of life all right uh, so that breath of life is interesting because it's the word nasham uh, which means spirit so actually what it says there the lord breathed his spirit into the man all right uh, and then it talks there um uh, it was the breath of life that word life there is chaya uh, which means life giving life and then of co course it says there and the man became a living being. And that living being is literally a man or a, a woman that has the ability to create. And, and of course, man creates all the time. Uh, you know, women even have the ability to give birth to a baby. Uh, and that's also creating life. And so that gift to create life, uh, God has it and he gave it also to his children. The God that designed the universe with his vast galaxies and solar systems designed you. You are a spirit being. You look like God and you are like him. He wrote a book about your future and your purpose. That all sounds wonderful. But what is written in my book? What is the plan? What is God trying to accomplish? You see, God loves to create things. He made you to love to create things. Our spirit's natural instinct is to create and improve the world around us. He also desires to have a family that lives in a heavenly utopia with him. When God created us, he created us with a purpose and a design. And I just want to look at a few features of the design that the Lord used when he created us. And of course, the first one is God created us to be like him, to look like him, 
and the Lord is a spirit being. And so therefore, we are also a spirit being. And we have His, his characteristics. He loves to create, so we love to create. Naturally, we will love the same things God will love because we are created to be like Him. Okay, So that's the first part of our design. The second part of our design is God created us to operate in a family. Uh, he, he created the man and then later He created the woman uh, because He realized this man needs a woman to be with Him. And of course, uh, the man and the woman will have children and then there will be a family. And so that's it. That's part of our design to be part of a family. And God always desired to have a family and therefore it's also important for you to function in a family you know when we talk about the church we even say that's the family of god and then of course we have our individuals families uh, like me and my wife and our children and again and so in that environment of family we can grow and we can uh, learn to love each other and we can build our character and we can uh, um, be equipped to fulfill our destiny and then of course the the final design factor that I want to highlight is the fact that God created you to be able to bring heaven to earth. You know, the name Adam literally means a gate through which the fullness that's in heaven can flow through. And so the Lord created you uh, in your design to be able to bring heaven to earth. And that's why he made us spiritual beings that can trust God, that can believe the Lord, that can see vision, uh, that can obey him and do actions that will bring heaven to earth, that can speak words of life. And so the Lord gave us all those capabilities so that we will be able to make this earth look like heaven. Just before Jesus ascended to heaven, he spoke to his disciples and he said to them, I want you to make disciples. Uh, and he also gave them some strategies how they can make uh, disciples. Uh, and as the, the disciples then started to make more disciples and the church started to grow, uh, this church of God had a massive impact on this earth and is continuing to do so and is going to even uh, accelerate in the impact that he has. As the family of God grows, thousands of God's children will work together uh, to do the following. They will grow the family of Jesus. They will grow healthy families. They will serve in government positions. They will build Christian schools. They'll spread the good news through various media. They will create worship, music, art, innovation, and new technology. Uh, and they will build flourishing businesses that employ people and supply products. So I want to encourage you. God designed you with a purpose. And you can be part of this massive move of God's body to sweep over this earth and change this place to look like heaven. Let's pray. Father, thank you that you've given me and each one of us that are listening today a specific call, a specific purpose, and also a design with gifts and talents to be able to fulfill that. And so, Lord, I want to pray for each one. Lord, help them to realize who they are, that they are a child of God, that they were created in God's image. Lord, help them uh, to discover what is their call, what is their function on this earth. And so, Lord, I pray for vision for each one. And so, Lord, now I pray for each one also to be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit so that they can go out and they can have power to be witnesses and be who God called them to be. Lord, all praise and honor to you, Lord. You are so amazing that you are our maker, you are our creator, you are the one that designed us. And so, Lord, we want to walk in that design according to that plan and purpose that you've written for us. Lord, we praise you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, thank you for joining me. If you love this content, uh, please uh, click on the link to subscribe to our newsletter or you can even give uh, to our ministry. If you want prophetic ministry, you can always join our teams uh, on Monday and Friday when we uh, go live and we minister to people. You just write your name in the comments and we will minister to you. God bless you.